What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here, Prodigy of Mob Deep, and his latest album titled The Hegelian Dialectic, The Book of Revelation. I guess that's a subtitle. Um, this came out earlier this year. Um, reason I didn't jump on it too fast, because I know a few people asked me to review it, is because usually when I order my shit from undergroundhiphop.com, I usually do like a bulk ordering, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like to order like three or four CDs at one time. I won't, um, I won't order just one, you know what I mean? Because it seems like it's a uh, waste on the shipping, because I know that it's like, um, now they offer a $2.99 flat rate. So I want to make it worth it. Um, but I was fucking around over here and I went to Vintage Vinyl. Um, shout out to Vintage Vinyl. Um, shout out to my NJ peoples. You know exactly what Vintage Vinyl is. It's one of the last stores that sell dope fucking music. Especially hardcore and heavy metal. But I was in there because I wanted to pick up Body Count's new album. And um, I found this. I said, oh shit, they got this. So picked this shit up and I listened to it and it blew my mind. Um, let's get right into it, okay? Um, there is the um, cover right there. Uh, basically, this is a play on the Virtu Virtuvian Man right here. Um, and you have the snake going after that apple. Um, you have some type of book in one hand, a gun, and um, you have a scale in another, and society behind the um, Virtuvian man right there. On the back, very plain, just a track listing. Um, and then you open it up, very ominous looking skull right there. Turn the CD so you see it straight. This is just a copy of the uh, front cover right there, and then you open this up. Get behind the CD. You got the skull, then you got Prodigy's discography on the bottom right there. Okay. So let's jump right into this shit. Production producers on this bitch I should sh say um Alchemist which is a given at this point because Prodigy uh, or Mob Deep love working with Alchemist uh Beat Butcher who appears on this album uh three times you got uh L L Ret uh, L R T N C L Retnik Arthenic Arthenic okay um you got uh drums by the engine ears you have Budgie Beats Mimosa Jordan Reed Knowledge shout out to Knowledge Mo Better and Mark the Beast all right, and as for features, he got one feature on here, uh, which is Cash Bills, okay? Never heard of him, but he does his thing on that track. One feature on here about, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tracks plus a bonus track, by the way, secret track. Um, pros and cons of this album uh pros well let me start cons the, there's not really 
anything bad I want to say about this album. Um, aside from Prodigy's style of kind of non-rhyming, kind of annoys me, but he does it very minimally on this album, which is a good thing, you know, because I, I miss the days when Prodigy uh, used to rhyme. I've said this on older reviews that I don't like that whole just talking you know what I mean like if you're not gonna rhyme it, it just you know it, it kind of annoys me but um he did it very minimally on this shit um prose I guess this yeah we'll just go right into the prose um what I really love about this album is the um evolution and the maturity of um of prodigy in every aspect i mean he still he still kind of he still kind of rhymes and flows the same way um but beat wise on here when i say evolution and maturity i'm also talking about his um if you look at him after his whole jail stint you know he put out a couple uh he put out stuff uh with mob deep like the black cocaine ep which is in Mob Deep's vein, you know, that, that was very respective of the, of the Mob Deep sound, but on his own, with his, especially with his last album, the um, Albert Einstein shit, that it showed a whole new side of, of P, and, um, you know, I, I really like it. it it's uh, newer production, it's gutter in its own light, it's not the... the production that is vintage mob deep like that early 90s 95 type shit um which i i i keep saying i've said this in older videos i wish they would produce an album with that sound but that's asking too much nowadays um but i definitely love this i definitely fucking appreciate it um this one he he went even further into that shit it's dark but mystical at the same time you could tell that he's well read you know that he's read a lot of books um he's more uh he even says it on the album on a couple songs he's more like um not a couple songs one song in particular where he says you know he's passed all the beef in you know that's all whack to him he's growing as a man you know um Maybe the jail stint showed him shit, showed him how precious life is. Um, he's talking about on here how uh, we're all one race. You know, we should all just respect each other, basically. We're all the human race, which, you know, again, I, I agree with. Um, you know, like I said, uh, uh, track two, The Mystic, because track one's the intro. Great track, Alchemist kills it. Um, the uh, it's called mystic like i said you get this whole mystical vibe throughout the whole album but that track right there was a great way um way to 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 set the tone for the album uh track three broken rappers fucking love that track um he's basically talking about a lot of shit that i talk about when it comes to hip-hop nowadays uh, all the all the bullshit that that um rappers do uh the lack of lyricism and shit like that. Um, what else could I talk about? Um, I mean, I basically, you know, I, 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 this whole album is just, he, he goes in on society. He goes in on, um, you know, a little bit of the racial divide. Like I said, he believes that everybody's the, the same, you know, um, but this this album really fucking impressed me, man. Um, one of my favorite albums um, this year, I would say, fucking great, 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 um, great release from Prodigy, man. I'm fucking, I'm fucking very impressed. And uh, I love the blend of the last track, Hunger P Pains. Um, that uh, I like the blend into the last track, fucking superb. I, I hope that he releases a, um, a, a continuation of this, because it says right here, 
one book of revelation it says it right there um i hope he continues with this puts out another album shout out to my nigga prodigy uh, my rating of this i would give it easily um uh 8.59 I, I you know this is one of my favorite releases this year and um go pick it up man um but oh a side note you know it, it uh, thinking of prodigy man you know back in the 90s when he had his beef with the death squad and everybody um he was talking about spaced out shit he was <laughs> he was talking about how niggas were talking about blunt raps and on all this like higher level shit but i i gotta call you on this p i gotta call you on this as much as i love you you know this album kind of fits into that whole fucking that whole fucking genre you know this could easily fit into that so i gotta call you on that as great as this album sounds i gotta call you on that dude i'm sorry but um, I'd be an asshole. I'd be a piece of shit if I didn't say anything. But I'm very happy with this album, all right? So, got to throw that in there. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, all right? That's it. And peace, bitches.